Kevin, the school now are planning to become what you call a free school. Could you expand upon that? Well, we're planning to create a, a primary division uh, within the Gateway Academy, which will provide opportunities for children from reception through to year six. And to secure the funding for that, we've tried all sorts of avenues. Um, and because clearly the, the, the country's in a difficulty at the moment, the only avenue left to us is, is the free school, which we're happy to make an application to. But a free school is, you're eligible for a free school if there is demand from um, the, the people who are going to use it essentially within the local community. And what we're doing at the moment is communicating with our parents and, and members of the, of the wider community, perhaps who have younger children who are looking for something different in terms of primary education and seeing whether they'd be interested in putting their names down on a list for our free school. Our plan would be to open it for uh, September 2013, so we've got another two years to secure the, secure the funding, to put the plans in place and, and to, to realise the building. Free school is a bit of a fuzzy term, isn't it? What does that actually mean? Well, it, it doesn't mean a lot really, as far as I can, uh, can work out. Basically, we've, we've consulted with the free schools unit and what they've told us is we can run our, our primary school just as any normal primary school. Um, but for us, it will be a, an integral part of the Gateway Academy and will enable us to use all sorts of wonderful opportunities for Year 11 children mentoring Year 1, students working in collaboration, those who are very gifted in the primary phase will, will, will accelerate through to the older years so that we'll challenge them at every, at every level and it just gives us a really great opportunity to be very creative with education uh, and, to, and to accelerate standards because it's the same old thing. We know the children in this area are very, very capable indeed. And sometimes the resources and the opportunities they've had haven't enabled them to accelerate to the, to the level that we would hope. And with um, the success we've had at the Gateway and the success we would anticipate we would have within a primary context, we would hope to be able to really challenge those children, provide them with some rich and wonderful experiences and move them on at a pace. But you're treading on the toes of the local education authority and their um, role and partnership with the primary schools in Tilbury, aren't you? Well, it was the local education authority um, with Robert McCulloch Graham, the previous um, head of children's services, who originally put this idea together. And it was their idea that we, that we relocate one of the local primary schools onto our site. Now, it's moved beyond that now into a free school. But the local authority also uh, would say that by 2015, Tilbury is going to need another primary school, so this is a way of securing that. And at no cost to the local authority, the cost will come to, from central government. So it's a way of bringing new resource into the local authority. A few weeks ago, Michael Gove came to visit the school. What it seemed like a very successful afternoon, a seamless afternoon. Um, what feedback have you got since then? Well, we're, we're continuing to discuss our plans with, with central government, with the YPLA and the Free Schools Unit. Um, we've now been requested to put in the bid. Um, they're supporting us with the finer details of that. So we believe that we have got the support of central government. And whilst it's not just a matter of, of, of putting in a bid, it's got to be an appropriate bid and it's got to be rigorously um, thought through and, and detailed. We believe that it will be looked on very favourably. And, and Michael Gove coming to see what we've achieved at the Gateway Academy, we believe is a step in, in, in that journey.